season is over, is it? Not for some of us. I still haven't finished with, you know, getting the taxes together. So I'm going to come out here and talking about filing tax as exempt. You want to claim exempt? Maybe you should think twice before you check exempt. Or how many kids you have? Nine, nine, 99. We're going to talk about this. Stay tuned. So you get this um, great travel assignment and you start counting your money. Before the assignment start, you start counting your money. Like you know, I do travel nursing. And you know, they make you fill out a W-4. And I know most of you know what a W-4 is, so I'm not going to elaborate on that. Forgive me, let me get some water. Ah, it's hot. So every time I go on these travel assignments, I learn a little every day from different nurses. And they always talk about, I hear people say, I, did you um, file exempt? I'm like, file exempt? What does that mean? What does filing exempt mean? I didn't know at the time, right? So everybody was talking about filing exempt, getting all that big money balling, you know, getting that Louis Vuitton, we're going to buy this, we're going to buy that, getting $5,000, $6,000. While Uncle Sam and the Georgia Peach was taking all my money. So, one day I was sitting and I was talking to the nurse. You know, I hear the, all the RNs say they file and tax them and they want, you know, what you should claim. It's going back to, um, I started to doing some research and a lot of people say how you can avoid paying taxes. <laughs> Don't claim exempt, some people say nurse but the nurses are saying they file exempt all the time and they get all their money they count that they getting what they getting before i don't know how to figure out the taxes i don't spend time figuring it out but when i saw that little bit of check compared to their check you know because you know they show you they afford to buy the bag and I can't buy the bag, you know, and it goes back to being an LPN or back to being when I was, I remember I used to tell, ask my mom, why can't I have like these other nurses? They are able to buy $500,000 house and here I am. I can't afford this. You know, when you in that environment, you get caught up in it because you want to be in the in crowd, you know? But as you get older, the in crowd don't cut it anymore. So I'm telling you this story. I'm going around the bed. So everyone was just claiming exempt. So I didn't know about it. Then I hear RN um, was saying that nurse should file tax exempt. And if you're not going to file taxes exempt, you put that you have 99 kids. On your W-4. Yeah. 99 or 999. 999. If you think I'm lying, I'm telling the truth. And then the IRS will take out a little bit of tax. And they'll take out a little, little bit. So you will assume like you get all your money back. Now, since I don't know anything about it, foolish me, follower at the time. So I went on this assignment, yeah, every time I go on a travel assignment, I'm very cautious about it because I've been hearing it filing exempt for a while and it was like, don't 
Yes, no, I do it all the time and I get all my money and IRS never do nothing. So I was, you know, just traveling and I was on a rapid assignment and I asked, you, you know, you get close to the nurses that you working with because we all in the same hotel. We kind of go to the hospital, kind of eat breakfast together. So I said, did you find exam? And everybody I talk to say, yeah, I always file exam. I always file exam. So I decide to try it. Yeah, I file exam. <laughs> I'm laughing now, but I, I file exam. So my initial response was, this was my game plan. I will file exempt for two weeks. And then after two weeks, I'm going to go to my employer and say, you made a mistake. I didn't ask you for exempt. I want you to take our tax. But the stuff backfired in my face. They said they can't change it for 30 days. Well, I'm not on the assignment for 30 days. I happened to stay on that assignment a month and a half exempt. Oh my goodness. When I saw the money coming in, and you know, when you get large sum of money in your hand and you claim that you're going to save it, everything, you start doing my compulsion with buying perfume. I didn't buy Louis Vuitton. Louis, Louis bag, but I was buying perfume. I'm going to do this. I'm going to fix up the kitchen. I'm going to do that and whatever. But most of the time I was saving the money. Okay. I saw it coming in every week. I stayed here for almost two months on that assignment. Not 13 weeks, just two months. And I was exempt. They wouldn't let me change it back, you know, because they say a lot of people do that. This was my first time filing exempt. I thought I could only do it for two whole weeks and, and scheme my way to get it back so that I wouldn't have to, you know, I just didn't feel comfortable. But anyway, the money came in, all the money, and it looked good. So I didn't, wasn't even thinking about not feeling good anymore. I was happy. I was saving now. And I didn't didn't care. I didn't have any care. I wasn't spending like everybody, taking these trips, they they going on vacation, Costa Rica, all these places. I get all my money and I was putting it in the bank. Went home, I went a bag with my bag. I did my quota for the year. I could sit home for three, two or three months. And that's what I've been doing. When I go on travel assignment, I save my money because locally in Georgia, it takes long for you to get a job. And when you do get a job orientation, by the time they get your paperwork, you're on another assignment. That's when they want to call you. So, I was sitting home, PRN was slow, so when I go away, I stack up so I can sit home in peace and pay the bill. So everything, I made my quota three times more than I expect. I was going to be home for six plus months, not working, because I filed exempt. So when it was time for me to file my taxes, my accountant, she said, Patrice, you, I think you better sit down. I said, oh, Lord, what did I do? Am I going to be, um, I'm thinking, because when my accountant called, yes, you have, a, you have to have an accountant when you're working all over the state. With all those tax, liability, and whatever, 
taxes, city tax, um, state tax in every state. You have to have an account. And I'll talk about that another time. So she said, you need to sit down. Now, mark you, I've been asking her about this tax exam thing. And she's been warning me, do not file exempt. But I wanted to be part of the crowd. I wanted to be like, I wanted, when they say, did you file exempt? Yes, I did file exempt. I'm getting all my money. I wanted to say that. And I was happy. I had money in the bank for real money. I'm not talking about no little G. I had some money saved up that could have taken me six months without working. She said, you better sit down. I said, I don't want to sit down. I didn't know what was coming, even though I was smiling. I did not know. Usually she tell me maybe I owe $2,000, yes. And I had a situation in Philadelphia that I had owe IRS. And I had made a payment arrangement with IRS. And I said, never again, because I see that the interest was daily. So I need to get rid of that immediately. And I did. So it's not like I had any issue with IRS. So me filing exempt, it would have been okay. But before I tell you about my accountant, so recently I was on another travel assignment and all around me the nurses are saying they file exempt. The RNs, the LPNs, the CNA, Everybody that was working with me, they file exempt. And I said, no, I didn't file exempt. They said, oh, you're going to get that little bit of money. What you going to do? And um, I said, oh, okay, I already learned my lesson. I'm going to tell you this lesson that I learned, and I would never do it again. So this one nurse, she was all bragging. She filed exams. She had the calculator. She was calculating that money. She was going to get a week. When we got our first paycheck, my little $2,000 a week compared to what she thought she was getting. And uh, if they didn't take out city tax, county tax for that state and plus I think Georgia or federal or whatever I would have gotten what she had expect but then she I noticed that in her face she looked shocked when she got her paycheck she was actually angry angry at the company because they messed up her check she filed exempt I didn't file exam. So she asked me, did you file exam? I said, no, this is what I get. And I expected she filed exam and she got the same about the lower, they call them the lower pay like me. 2000 a week is good enough for me when you're taking out my tax. So anyway, she was upset. So she got on the phone and she started calling the agency angry. That they mess up her check and she want a new W floor because she put on it exempt and they didn't, they take out tax. Oops, oops, whoops. You know what the caller say on the other line, the human resource said, they connect her to human, re human resource said, you can't file tax exempt anymore. The IRS sent us a note that you cannot file tax, file exempt. So, why am I telling this story? Keep filing exempt. You can get away with it once. You can get away with it twice. You can even get away with it three times. But you can't keep getting away with it. They'll find you. And I was thinking that's why I'm assuming now, allegedly, that some of the stars get caught up. Some of the people... In general, when they get lump sum of money, they don't want to claim a tax. Eventually, IRS will find you.
And that's the letter she get. So she called him back when she find out IRS said she couldn't. She called him back and said, well, can I claim some kids? You know, IRS said, no, you're going to be zero and we're going to take out the full because she already owed them and she's trying to pay them. And then you're going to come back into a situation and file exempt. It doesn't work. They get caught. And, you know, some of the nurses may think they're getting over. You may think you're getting over on IRS or, you know, you might hear these YouTube video I watched the other day, how to avoid tax, don't file tax, just exempt, 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 but it don't work that way. And my story is when she asked me to sit down, I knew it was something coming. And that's the always when my accountant say that, I know I'm going to have to pay. I'll be worrying every day until I get my tax. So she said, sit down. She said, didn't I tell you not to file exempt? I had to take out all that money because I could have easily said, okay, um, to my account, let's make an arrangement with um, IRS and I'll pay monthly. Uh-uh. I don't want to do that because I had an experience with that and I see that the taxes um, accumulate daily. So I told her, yeah, okay, just, just send it to me. And I paid off IRS and I paid off Georgia because you have to pay whatever state you live in. You have to pay taxes even though you didn't work that year for them because you're a resident. I paid both of them off. So that caused me all my income that I had saved up to sit home for six months and do other things. I had to go back to work. I had to take more travel assignments. So it didn't pay to file exempt and have that lump sum sitting in the bank and I had to take it back out and pay it off. Now, most people don't do what I do. They just pay, make a payment arrangement. But I don't want to go through that. I don't want them because if you miss a payment, they garnish what, whatever check you have, your paycheck or whatever. Or my employer has to know my business that, oh, Patrice, you can't file exempt no more because the IRS said you did it one time too many. And there's a lot of nurses that get caught up in this one time too many. There are instant incident where I do file exempt if I do a week and that's just chancing it. I've gotten to the point where I don't even want to do it no more because it's very costly. I'll exempt if you don't let your employer file exempt, I mean take taxes out and you file exempt, you may get that lump sum but you have to file double. To me it's like the taxes are double. Never do that again. So when you hear people talking about filing exam, want to claim ex exam, or this is what the nurses say, Patrice, you don't even have to file exam. All you got to do is you got 99 kids or 999, and they'll take all, a little bit of federal, a little bit of um, state, and you still get your money a little bit. I don't even want to do that either because it still mess you up at the end of the year. So I just wanted to come out here. I know the and I hope this video helped because I had to learn that lesson the hard way. And I'm and I'm not the only one, I'm sure. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Comment, get me noticed on YouTube. Thank you and have a wonderful day or night in your state or your country.